Welcome to the Virtual Strategic Solutions Virtual Reality Simulation System. Accessing Legacy Dataset. Files loaded. Simulation ready. A mining camp located along the Interstate 15, Sloan and Quarry Junction are the foundations of the NCR's construction efforts in the Mojave. Limestone mined at the quarry is shipped via rail to Boulder City, where the cement mixing plant produces concrete for the construction of bunkers and fortifications at Hoover Dam and along the Colorado River. One of the only places where workers could earn a less than average wage, Sloan has since experienced a drastic slowdown in business when the powder gangers attacked it and stole the entire cache of dynamite. Without blasting sticks, the quarry fell silent and a pack of death claws moved in. Unable to wipe them out, the workers are on forced leave until someone can clear the infestation. The morale of the workers is slowly deteriorating, as with a barely functioning generator and no prospects for relief. The group is joined by their pet, a tame mole rat named Snuffles, who suffers from an injured leg. The courier can heal Snuffles' leg in the side quest claws mended if they have 30 points in medicine. To the left of the road are four main buildings and an outhouse. The leftmost building, the worker barracks, has two skill books, Dean's Electronics and Duck and Cover, as well as some other loot. The second building, the mining office, has a stash of bottle caps noted curiously for donations. There is a generator outside the mining office that provides power to Quarry Junction and is not assembled properly. Repairing the generator will complete the unmarked quest power to the people. Lastly, the machine shop has a workbench, some scrap metal, a few tubes of wonder glue and other loot. The last building, the mess hall, is where the courier can begin the unmarked quest. You gotta break out a few eggs. Head foreman of the quarry junction, teams mining limestone to make concrete for the NCR's fortifications. Chomps Lewis found himself on indefinite leave after the powder gangers stole his team's entire supply of dynamite. And because of the shortage on dynamite, death claws infested the quarry grinding operations to a complete halt. They and the powder gangers are now holding up production of cement at the city and furthermore, traffic on the Long 15. His work seems to have no end of problems as the morale of workers sagged due to not only being out of work, but out of power and stuck in a holding pattern. When not mining Quarry Junction, Chomps runs a little side business acting as the middleman between his daughter, Melissa, and supplier Private Tyrone, trafficking drugs. His contact is shady, but things took a turn for the worse recently, as Tyrone outright cheated Chomps on the last shipment. He is fairly sympathetic to the Great Khans as well. His daughter Melissa is a courier for the Great Khans, and although he disapproves of her lifestyle, he understands that only she has the authority to make decisions impacting her life. No longer entitled to continue to keep tabs on his daughter's activities, the foreman is glad that she is making her own way in the world. Despite its proximity, Chomps does not recommend visiting New Vegas. Speaking from experience, he states that it is a good way to burn through a month's pay in minutes and has seen more people on their way thinking it is going to be nothing but an easy ride to the top. A native Californian, Jazz is one of the many souls attracted to the gilded glory of New Vegas, trying to reach it in order to make it big and without the Republic's laws and regulations getting in the way. Of course, she could have settled back home, working at one of the farms or mills, but she hates boredom and the strict formalism of the Republic. The death clause at Quarry Junction stopped her from reaching the promised land, denying her the freedom she looked for. Not one to sit idle, she took up residence at Sloan, providing the NCR miners with grub. Her passion for cooking exotic foods helps her deal with the dreaded boredom, especially when she can provide an alternative to 200-year-old prepackaged food that people still eat. However, adventure soon found her, in the form of the powder gangers who robbed Sloan of its dynamite stockpile. Ever since, every miner and employee sleeps with a gun nearby. Her talent for cooking runs in the family. Jazz's great-aunt was Rose, the owner of Rose's bed and breakfast, and original creator of the Death Claw omelette. Although Jazz is eager to try out the recipe for herself, she doesn't have a death claw locked up for its eggs, and her aunt can't help, ever since a stranger came into town and shot her death claw in the eye. Upon fast travelling to the area or leaving one of the buildings in the camp, 
Nearby powder gangers may attack the residents. South of the town down the highway is a railway bridge. Under the bridge is the corpse of a bright follower. The corpse contains a bright brotherhood robe and an energy weapon. The courier may overhear a worker talking about something he saw over the ridge, putting the great Khan encampment on the map. Snuffles counts as a guard dog and will see through disguises if the player character has a negative reputation with the NCR and become hostile. Walking behind the mining office may attract the attention of the Deathclaw Alpha Male within Quarry Junction, potentially attracting it into contact with Sloan and the miners. Quarry Junction is the primary source of limestone used for mixing cement and concrete, used by New California Republic engineers in construction, primarily fortifications against Caesar's Legion. The materials mined here are sent to Boulder City for mixing by rail, and from there to the various construction sites along the Colorado River. The workers benefit greatly from old pre-war drag lines present on site, which increases their output tremendously, despite needing some percussive maintenance from time to time. The only drawback is that workers are paid in NCR dollars, rather than the hub's bottle caps. The former is a somewhat less stable fiat currency, after a history of the NCR being unable to sustain its original gold reserve backing, whereas the latter is still backed by exchange for fixed amounts of fresh water by the merchants of the hub. Simulation completed. Please exit the pod or have a technician select another file.